what's up YouTube it's your boy tits here and today we're gonna do a little something different I've had a lot of people message me in the last few months asking me what recording software do I use so I wanted today to go over what I use what I think's best uh, compare a couple and then do a brief little setup guide for the program that I use and so that the video is not too too long I'll be pretty brief with this program it's called Marillus Action but it's so streamlined and easy to understand I think you'll get the hang of it uh, and be able to uh, pick up on everything pretty easily <clears throat> so we're not going to go over fraps in this video but the differences between fraps and these programs that I kinda wanted to point out is it's a system hog on resources if you try to record an 1820 by 1080 it takes so many resources with a four thousand dollar computer it still lagged me down it makes the recorded file in the end the video file huge like two three four times bigger than Marillus and DxTory the other program I'm, I'm gonna be talking about uh, it just doesn't have nearly as many advanced options and it's just really uh, not as good, plain and simple. It, it just it can't do as much either. So two programs, Marillus Action. I'll have both links in the description also about these programs and DX Tory. Opening that right now. Both programs are thirty dollar programs. You could torrent them for free if you wanted to try them out. I'm not condoning uh, torrenting these. They're out there, you know, but do stuff like that at your own risk. If you want to try out Marillus, which this is the one Marillus action that I prefer and that I use, you can download the trial and other than a watermark, all the everything's pretty much there for you just like buying it and you'll be able to use it for like 30 days. They're both $30 programs. A uh, big difference you see right away is looking at them. DxTory looks like a program maybe some guy wrote and Marillus looks like a program maybe a company came out with. It's just a lot more professional looking, expensive looking. Uh, and truth is, they're both a lot alike. But I will explain why I choose Marillus. So, some of the differences. Instead of going all over everything that's uh, the same with both of them. Because uh, as far as video goes they're pretty close. They both have really small recorded files in the end. They both don't use a lot of resources and they're both, you know, really great at recording gameplay. But this one has webcam. You can do a webcam, you can do live stream. Um, also within video recording, you can do your active desktop and you can also do an active desktop region which I haven't seen in any program yet which is really nice where you just select the size of a region and that's only what it will record whether it be on a website or uh, you know you could be recording video or text or just anything and that, that's really awesome I like that a lot that's some of the those are some of the biggest differences between Dextor and this one and being that they're both thirty dollars I would definitely recommend getting Marillus also Marillus keeps up to date quite often they're, they're uh, always updating adding stuff making their program more stable making sure anybody's errors or bugs and problems get fixed and they will get back to you within a day or two if you message their support email with a problem which is really really awesome and they're just super nice and helpful uh, when you do that too now DX Tory, I'll kind of click through and you could pause if this is a program you want to use I'm not going to go over the settings for this program because it would take too long I just want to go over Marillus but I'll just show you here records an AV like Marillus does but in Marillus you can also record an MP4 DX Tory codec versus Marillus codec DX Tory codec is not bad I think Marillus is a little more stable even though DX Tory makes <clears throat> very small recorded files way smaller than Fraps I mean way smaller Marillus is even a little bit smaller so both codecs are really not, are really good though DX Tory will record two separate audio tracks when you record and you can pick both inputs for those just like 
uh, Marillus and DX4, we both do this. Here's a screenshot, which all the programs do screenshots. Advanced settings, so you can pause if you want to look at that. Processing thread is picking all four of your cores. And there's your FPS. And that's all with DX Tori. Now, to end the video, I want to talk about Marillus for a couple minutes. So, it's not a system hog. It uses very little resources, even though it is a top of the line program and it runs so smooth and it just records great. Great HD content, very small recorded files really recognizable um, the, the codec is just an amazing stable codec and all your editing programs you know will under will understand and work smoothly with the recorded uh, you know videos uh, what else to say about it here here's your hotkey settings I'll go over the settings this is gonna be personal preference export settings personal preference you know pick where you want your files to go and then automatically split files into parts so at every 15 minutes it will start a new video file instead of uh, you know or you could just have one file that's the whole video and you can split it up in Vegas if you want or whatever program you're using Adobe Premiere or something this is your HUD so where this little FPS thing will be in the game when you're recording you can select from here and you can make a hotkey to move it around when you're in game or you can choose not to have it show up. Your microphone settings. Choose your audio device. And then for system sounds, choose your audio device. Pretty simple. And you can you can uh, manage volumes, which is really nice. So if you're doing a dual com and if you're like a YouTuber and someone's talking on Skype and you're trying to pick them up or whatever chat service and they're coming in a lot louder, you can bring them down a little bit and have you up a little bit. Bitrate, do 192 kilobytes per second. Record microphone into separate audio tracks. Definitely have this checked. So that when you put your file into Vegas, let's say, you will have one audio file that's everything you said in the mic, and the other audio file is everything else that was system sounds, which would be everything that your other friend was saying uh, on Skype. It makes it way easier. For, like This is something fraps don't do. And this would make it way easier to edit in uh, Vegas. You could do a lot more this way. If audio from every different source is on one file, you can't mess with it really. Can't change the volume of you and him because it's all one file. Recording mode, it's got webcam. Video recording settings, do high for video quality. Input range, 0 to 255, that's what you want it at. That's so it includes all your colors when recording. Use multi-core rendering. Have this checked for multi-core PC, so it's it's optimized to utilize all your cores. And I just have mine checked for updates. These are just basic settings. Be personal preference. Screenshots, JPEG, screenshot area, entire desktop. You know that's up to you. And there's your hotkey. And hotkeys you set back in general settings, like I showed you. It does benchmarking if you want to do that. Audio recording, you can just record audio. You can also record audio while recording gameplay. If you want even uh, more ability to edit, you know, in more detail, I do an MP4. Do multi-channel, record silence, always record. It's got live streaming. I use Open Broadcaster for live streaming, but you can set up live streaming on here. Also, their website is great, and when you go to that, you can under you can uh, look stuff up. There's a forum on there which is awesome, so that any trouble you might have with something, it'll be on the forum most likely. So that's really nice. And for video recording, click on this one if you want to record in game. Click on this one for recording your whole active desktop. Anything you do on your desktop gets recorded. If you're on your web browser, it's all getting recorded. The whole desktop, active desktop region is the size of the square that you drag and then uh, and then let go it's gonna be that size that's all you're gonna record so that's really cool I choose AV but it's got AVM and MP4 AV is uh, bigger I have it record in uh, AV here 
you can do either video size 1080p if you have a decent computer I would try 1080p especially if you upload to YouTube because this program I'm telling you it will show a difference between 1080p and 720p the program can capture great 1080p uh, video you will see a slight difference between 720p and it is not a system hog like where f basically when I run this in game I might drop 5 to 7 FPS when recording in 1080p with all the settings jacked which is just crazy fraps you're gonna drop so many you're gonna have so many resources being used trying to record that high video frame rate 30 chord system sounds and allow multi-channel audio recording check check always record and that's all I got for you everything is really streamlined easy to understand uh, it's better for the general user and it's really easy on your system you know if you don't have the best system you just have a, a average or above average one this program is still gonna be for you but with all that said it's still top of the line program so it's thirty bucks it's worth buying they're always updating it and uh, this is what I would suggest to you guys and this is what I use and a lot of the uh, between this DX tour you know this is what a lot of the professionals do use to record or you know bigger youtubers Alright, please comment, like, subscribe, check out my new Twitch, the link will be in the description, and I hope that helped some of you guys out that wanted to know more about recording software and, uh, you know, how to use it, and if you have any more questions, just go ahead and message me on YouTube. I'll catch you guys, oh, one second, I'll show you real quick. So, with settings all at their highest, oh, let's see here, let's find something quick. Uh, all right, four minute video, four point four zero gigabytes. That's that's all. So tiny, and it's 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 just great. You're gonna love this program. Shell the money out. Support these guys, definitely. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.